In today's video, I'm opening up a $7,000-ish Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection purchase video. In this video, I have a very large collection with both sealed and singles that we're gonna be going through, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two structure decks. These were both in this collection, so this is part of the collection, but I'm giving it away, the Spirit Charmers and the Freezing Chains. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite thing from the collection. And let's get into it. Since we're on structure decks, we have a second Freezing Chains, so that's pretty cool. Then we have three of the Egyptian God card decks, Sly for the Sky Dragon. And then we have three of the Egyptian God card decks, Obelisk of the Tormentor. So those are all the structure decks. Pretty cool, fairly new, nothing too crazy there. Then we have some sealed booster boxes. We have a first edition Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians. Not a great set, but kind of a cool booster box. You don't really see it too often. Opening it up though would be a huge L, so we're not gonna be doing that. Then we have a Code of the Duelist. Also, not a great set anymore because Firewall Dragon got errata and all that different stuff. That was the big card out out of the set not too valuable to open up at this point it's still pretty cool to see first at boxes i see a lot of packs laying around but boxes not so much so that's pretty cool as well then we have a dark neo storm first edition box i see a lot of unlimited packs of this because of like all the special editions and stuff i haven't actually had a booster box first ed of this i don't think maybe i have a long time ago but i don't remember it so first ed at dark neo storm pretty cool as well then another one from the 2018 era the soul fusion you know good old thunder dragon stuff it was pretty popular back then this is also first dead so this is another one that's somewhat rare 9576 that's just straight up retail i believe if you go 399 per pack uh very cool on that those are the boxes that were like not as cool then we get into some big stuff such as battles of legend armageddon first edition so obviously 10k dragon could be in here so crazy crazy pull i mean that's like a 1400 dollars raw card one of the most insane new Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever reprinted so that's a great booster box worth almost 300 bucks for that then we have eternity code first edition another crazy one pretty early starlight set you could get of course the original access code talker there's effect veiler in here there's a lot of really good ones i think there's a charmer in here that's worth a lot of money we got not one but two of those Eternity Code boxes, which is awesome. Then we got a very old one, Chaos Impact First Ed. I say very old. It's 2019. It's like four years old. But, uh, you know, second Starlight set ever made. So pretty cool because you can get that IP Masquerina. We've had some crazy luck with these in the past. Remember when we pulled two IP out of one case and then we, there was a third Starlight as well. So uh, we actually have three boxes of this. So these are pretty nice because you can get that IP Masquerina. Outside of that, not a whole lot to pull, but because of that IP, and being a $1,500 card, it's a big box. Then we have an actual old set, Order of Chaos. I think this came out in 2013 or 2012, so we're talking 10, 11 years old at this point. Order of Chaos, this one has, you know, some scratching on it, but it is an old box. It's also first dead. Very, very cool. Introducing the Incredible Insectors. This is when they were introduced. That's That shows you how old those are. So also a very cool box. All right, then we have a box with, what is this? Oh, wait, we've got something going on here. We have a Prismatic God card. So I guess you can just set that up okay so we've got the obelisk and the slifer they've got stands on them so you can just kind of i mean these are the stands i think that came with them so you can kind of prop them up which is actually pretty cool maybe we'll throw them back there those are all in one box so there's one box then we have what appears to be a deck so let's see what kind of deck this is inside i don't know is it an older deck is it a newer deck we'll find out so that is korean mfc so we've got some korean in here no, I mean, Korean's not going to be too valuable and unlimited because they printed a bunch of these recently, a couple years ago. So we've got the uh, Dark Paladin. That's pretty cool. Maybe there's a Dark Magician girl in here. This appears to all be Korean from what I'm seeing. See, I mean, they got the secret right there. there. Where's the Dark Magician girl? No Dark Magician girl. Maybe it's in a different box. LOB Blue Eyes Korean. Some more Korean stuff. So it was not a deck. It was just Korean uh, ultra rares and stuff like that. So those have a little bit of value, but not too crazy. Then we have another box. This has a, what appears to be a lot of promos in it. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I looked through a little bit of this stuff, but not all of it. So let's see what's in here. We have the Sylvans. Okay, what is that from? That's from Pryo. It's special edition, maybe. These are from Jodel, uh, the uh, deluxe edition that we opened the other day. So you can get those from there. So you got, it looks like he opened a bunch of those. Wow, or at least he got a lot of these somehow. So a lot of deluxe editions. We got Prophecy Destroyer from the Tin. We've got the Hip Hippo from Duelist Alliance. Bingo Machine Go from Legendary Duelist uh, Season 2. 
Ghost, oh wait, what is this from? Lost Art, oh, okay, some Lost Art stuff going on there. We got a few more as well. We have a Tragedy, this looks like more Lost Art cards. Vampire Vamp, so these are pretty cool. Blazing Heat, uh, Barrel Dragon's a very different one. They've changed up that artwork a lot. Storming Wind, Storming Wind, Enchanted Fitting Room. Okay, so, I mean, that is a lot of promos right there. Then we have XC, XYC, XYC, what am I saying? Gear for the Iron Knight, Blade Knight, Insect Knight, Guilford, Xeron, Vorse Raider. I mean, a lot of 10 promos so far. So this was like supposed to be a $7,000 collection. So I'm expecting there to be some big stuff coming up. So, I mean, I'm obviously not totally sure what's in here because we kind of do it mystery style. It's like they kind of tell me an idea and then I we go through and check out what it is. There's still a lot of cards left, but so far it's been mostly like, I mean, the boxes are worth quite a bit. The singles, not a lot so far, but we're gonna have to find out what's up next. Okay, then we have some, what appears to be Battles of Chaos cards. That's a Bode. Okay, Floundries, Libromancer. I mean, these are all like okay cards. They've been, a lot of them had reprints since then. It's kind of killed the value of a lot of these. I mean, the uh, Naruto frog guy has always not been that worth that much. The Gizmek stuff is not super valuable. Let's see if there's anything big. Some Gold Series, Mechaba, love that. We have the Black Rose, we have Twin, Invocation. Okay, we've got some older school cards, DCR. First Ed, Exile Force, that's pretty nice. Storm Shooter, Sui Jin, Cyber Dragon stuff. I mean, Cyber Dragon stuff is really nice, and then uh, Graceful. Okay, and then we have more Ice Jade, Ancient Gear. This is somewhat old. It's like, wait, is that LOB? Original LOB, that's, that's pretty decent. I mean, not crazy value, but really cool card. Griffin Drop-Off, I'm looking for some nice First Ed stuff. LOD Unlimited. Looking at Guardian Angel Joan. I mean, so far it's a bunch of unlimited. Unlimited can be nice, but usually not super valuable. And uh, King Dragon from uh, the Flaming Eternity. Is that a super rare? That's really hard to see. All right, what else we got? We got, that looks like a reprint. We got a Dark Piercing Light from McDonald's pack, of course. The Goat. We've got uh, Toon World. Very cool. Some more, all spells here, it looks like. Graceful Charity, Graceful. Wow, a lot of Graceful Charities. We will be drawing a lot of cards using that. Uh, Ryoku Field, XCs. Harpies. So this looks like, oh wait, that's a first ed. That's pretty good. Uh, catapult. I'm looking for first eds. Not seeing a ton, but we are getting a lot of unlimited cool old stuff. Curse of Dragons, Borg, Big Core. Okay. I'm assuming that one was like the lesser of the box. We'll see what this next box is if it's like pretty crazy because this is the final box of what we have. So this is, I'm assuming, some pretty nice stuff. Let's see what's inside. So starting off, we have a Jump Promo, Wicked Avatar. We've got Invader. Those are just special edition promos. That's cool. CED is pretty nice. Uh, Diffusion Wave Motion, First Ed, Darkness Dragon. We got Nova, Android Sphinx. We got a Blue Eyes SDK, a little beat up though. So uh, a couple of those. SDY, so these are all on limbs. We got SDJ, those are on limbs. Looking for something big. That is a <laughs> that is a nostalgic condition relinquished. Let's just say that. All right, we have a Kaiser Seahorse upstart. Bean Soldier. Honestly, maybe one of the most valuable cards we've seen. I think it's like a $30 card if it's actually near mint. So pretty crazy. Okay, Corroding Shark. That card's pretty expensive. First at LOB Rare. We've got Mystical Elf. We've got Catapult Turtle. A first ed. Faded Harpy Lady Sisters. That's probably pretty nice. And then, wow, Sangan. Or Sangha, I should say. Different card. Uh, nostalgic condition. That guy saw some play. What else we got? Kazijin. There's the full set of the Gate Guardian. Just in time for the Gate Guardian support. We've got Absolute Zeros. Those are worth about three bucks, I believe. Black Illusion First Ed. We've got Called. We've got Delinquent Duo Unlimited. We've got First Ed Mystical Space Typhoon. That's not bad. We've got First Ed Double Spell. First Ed's here. A lot of old school stuff. Like, a lot of this is decent stuff. I'm not... Seeing like the crazy value cards. There we go. That's something pretty big. Breaker. Uh, two of those. Look how different they look. These are almost like different first ed prints. That's weird. Okay. First ed. Three of those. Okay. Now we're talking. We got Thousand Eyes Restrict. Those are nice. Unlimited Pharaoh Servants. A bunch of those. We've got a reprint Red Eyes Black Dragon. LOB. We got a. That might be a reprint Summon Skull. No, that. Uh, that might be original. I don't know. Got to look closer. Time Wizard. I mean, a lot of really cool nostalgic cards here. All right, still a lot of cards to go. Let's see if we keep going into the nice stuff. First Ed Yamada Dragon. That's nice. LOB Blue Eyes. That does not appear to be a reprint. Um, actually, we'll have to check those. That's an EN, so that's an OG uh, Forbidden Legacy version. Okay, we have a bunch of Exodia. Exodia Necros. That one's a little lighter. That could be a reprint. We have Glory of the King's Hand stuff. Slifer from GBI Ultra Rare. That's not bad. Kaiko. Wait, is that a... That must be a Ultra Pharaoh's Rare, I guess. Now the Secret Pharaoh's Rare. Very nice uh, Sacred Beast cards. We have Arrival Rivals. We've got Wait, is that another Lost Art? Yeah, Lost Art. We've got 
Okay, Lord, okay, a little bit of that. All right, still we got Nova Master. That has an ultimate rare. Leviar the Sea Dragon is actually kind of expensive because it doesn't have a reprint, I don't think, unless I missed one recently. We've got some stuff from, uh, this is from the Egyptian God Box, I believe. Uh, secret rares. Oh, the full set from Legendary Collection Yugi's World. That's pretty cool. Uh, Serpent Eye Dragon, Yada Garasu, Chaos Emperor Dragon, and Gate Guardian. That's a reprint. This is an OG. We got, wow, a lot of Gate Guardians. SRL Toon Dragon, SRL Toon Dragon, MRL Toon Dragon. Okay, not at first dead, but they are unlimited. Rainbow Dragon, I think I have this in near mint for my binder, unfortunately. We have a Gold Letter Guy, a not reverse secret rare. We have a Star Eater. Okay, these are unlimited. I just pulled this, so I don't need that, unfortunately. I need first dead, though. Uh, Magical Cylinder Secret Rare. Got a bunch of stuff. Dark Sage, beautiful card. Kinetic Soldier, Metals. Up. I mean, a lot. Of, oh, the Goat, perfectly ultimate great moth. Don't forget to miss the Petite Moth 10 minute testing video, April Fools. It was great. All right, we're getting towards the end. I haven't really seen any huge cards yet. I've seen a lot of like decently nice cards, but nothing like huge. So maybe it does add up, but I'm going to have to be figuring that out afterwards. There, the Dark Magician Girls. I knew he had to have pulled some. There's a. Okay, we got some Ghost Shares. Red Eyes, Black Dragon. That's nice. Mobius the Mega Monarch. I unfortunately have this uh, near mint already. Ooh, now we're talking. We got the Excalibur Unlimited. I think I have Unlimited. Majestic Star I have Unlimited, I think. Majestic Red, I might not have that one. Uh, Shooting Star First Dead, I do have that. We have a Junk Berserker. Unlim, I might not have that, actually. I might need that. Odin Unlimited, I think I need that, too, if it's near mint. Then we got some Starlight Rares from some sort of Japanese set. I don't know which one it is exactly, but these are pretty nice. Are these Starlight? Yeah, they look Starlight. Okay. I don't, uh, yeah, they, they hadn't come out with 25th yet. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> now we got a big card. Okay, we've got a star. I didn't even notice the English Book of Lunar Eclipse. Not a huge card. It's like 70 bucks. Pot of Prosperity is huge. Uh, Stardust Dragon, obviously huge. Horus Ultimate Rare. That's, that's pretty nice. It's a level four. It's a little beat up. Horus level six. I don't see a lot going on with it. Seems decent. And then a level eight. That's an unlimited, but still really nice. Queen's Knight. Okay. We took a huge step up. So now we got to the good stuff. All right. Yeah. This is really rounding out this collection into shape because we had a lot of the good low end, medium end. It would not, we were looking for the high end, and here it is. Okay. BES Crystal Core, Cryo Sphinx, Silva. A lot of ultimate rares here. These are unlimited, so it's going to take a lot off their value, but they're still really nice cards. Doriato is still a really nice card. Construct, really cool from Duelist Alliance. That's a first ed. Uh, we've got Odin. I might need that unlimited. Not sure. Thor. Okay, we got all the different guys. Same thing with that. I might need the ultimate rare. I got to double check on some of this stuff. C39 is good. Amaterasu. I'm, I might need some of these unlimiteds. 62. I think that's like the best card out of Pryo, actually, right there. The ultimate rare. Number 34. Rux and 34 terabyte. Very nice. Wonder Wand, Solemn Judgment ulti. We've got the new ultimate rare from the OCG. Very nice. The Blue Eyes Jet Dragon in that rarity as well. That's beautiful. All right. So this picked up big time. It's turning into a really crazy collection. We got an ultimate rare Blue Eyes White Dragon right there. That's pretty awesome. This comes in like the starter deck thing we opened up a long time ago at this point. But this actually is a promo, which is crazy. Uh, that is a ultimate rare, new style. King's Court, that is a Collector Rare, Hyper Galaxy Collector Rare, Joker's Collector Rare, Imperial Bower. Do you have all the Collector Rares? Okay, here's Gemini Genesis Impact. We got a few from there. Now, F-Zero, that's a pretty good one. Alistair, the Invoker of Madness. Love Alistair. Not a great card, though. Lilla, pretty cool. Skulia, Beat Cop, and then Ursartic Polari. Okay. That turned out to be pretty crazy at the end. I was a little worried. I was like, I hope this guy isn't asking for this much for, like, I mean, these are great cards, but, you know, I can't pay that much, but... Turns out this is going to be a pretty awesome collection. We'll see how much we're actually going to work out for it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more of these collection videos, let me know below. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.